So after your long and wonderful adventures in the weed van with the guitarist... What's the weed van? The weed van, yeah. Yeah, it's the mystery machine. After, wa after a wonderful night of partying, you eventually do wake up all by your lonesome in the middle of Bumblefuck in the desert. And you can't quite remember how you got here. <laughs> you have your clothes on. You have all of your equipment on. And you are missing a shoe. So... <laughs> perception to see if I can find my shoe. Alright, you can roll your perception. Uh, let me open my character sheet. Also, uh, to all the viewers out there, that burp is for you. <laughs> they can hear you. Oh, I know, that's what the... Just uh, dedicating that burp to them. <laughs> Alright, skills. Let's go to perception. Your perception is nine. God damn you, knowing my perception. I am the game master. Master of games. Oh, shit! What? Five successes, uh, after kind of looking around. Mind you, the time is... It's probably midday, the sun's right over your head. Voltaire. It's high <laughs> noon! It is actually just high noon. <laughs> you turn to see... You, you're greeted by the sight of your shoe stuffed <laughs> into the side of a cactus. And again, you're not quite sure how you got there. I'm gonna get my shoe and make sure there's no fucking, like, pricks in it. Like, you know, needles from the cactus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the shoe's fine. It held surprisingly sturdy by being shoved into a cactus. Does it look like it was just bluntly forced into it? Yes, that's exactly how it was. And as you kind of pull it out, cactus juice starts to kind of seep out. Gonna... One needs hydration in the desert. Uh... I think it's actually better to cut off the top of these and to, like, fish down into it. But Whatever works for you. Yeah. I think you still, you still have a knife, I believe. Alright. Yeah, you yeah, have your sword cane. Yep. Do I have a sword cane? Oh, sorry, uh, gun cane. Yeah, I was gonna say, what the fuck? When did I get that? <laughs> I, I, don't have a, I don't have a... I've never had a blade on me besides the one that I gave away to give, make somewhat a bayonet. No, you have a combat knife. Oh, do I? Okay, then I will. Yeah, use that you also have, you also have two. Wait, you have two cyber hands. You don't even need to worry about like you don't even worry about it. Just stuff your hand in there. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm gonna stuff my hand in there. And just kind of like cup some cu cup some of the cactus juice up into your mouth. Yep. Now I forget. Is it the cactus fruit or the cactus juice that makes you high as shit? Um. So there's very specific cactuses that are way out in the fucking desert that have, like, a certain, like, pink flower that grows on them that you oh, get so high different. as fuck on, and it's called peyote. The juice yeah, is peyote, also may gonna make you high, but it would, it's very difficult to find that cactus. They're very small. Mm -hmm. If it's just normal cactus. Oh, they're like, they're like they're little ball ones that are, like, the size of, a, like, the ball in a globe, I would say right? they, they can gl gl glow up or grow up to, like, two feet tall. So they're, like, <clears throat> so they're, like, the fun midget you have at parties, basically. Yeah. I mean, there are other variations of that, that certain species of cactus, but, like, the most common. Yeah. But yeah, you do have some hydration, you have some water, so you're good to go for now, at least. Okay. If you were to eat cactuses, uh, the insides of, that, of them actually dehydrate you, so... Really? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because they have to retain the water. Mm -hmm. Hey, you just gotta wring the water out. Mm -hmm. All right. Say so you're out in the lovely wor- in the middle of Bumblefuck. I'm just gonna have you roll memory to try and gather what the actual fuck happened. I think my memory's seven? Yes, it is seven. Oh! What? What? <laughs> you're, do you're doing it. I tripped on my keyboard, I'm sorry. <laughs> One success. You kind of put your fingers to your temples and you try desperately to figure- try to remember what happened. But you don't- you don't have- you don't got I'm, shit. I'm at the side of a road? You're in nowhere. Uh, in the desert. Hmm. You don't even have a comlink signal. You are that far from any civilization in either direction. And you don't have a G you don't have a survival knife, so you don't have a GPS either. Does my uh comlink have a compass? Like a uh, compass. yes, it does. Comlinks do have compasses, yeah. Um, I'm gonna start heading north. 
All right, so you're just going to wander through the waste for hours upon hours? Northeast, because it'll help my chances of finding road. Smart man. Smart man. All right, so after wandering for what you're not quite sure, but in, I want to say roughly, like two or three hours, you do ultimately find the remnants of what looks to have been a rockin' party in the middle of the desert. And you kind of take a minute to realize, I had to walk for two and a half hours to get here. And, well, the place is littered with empty bottles of beer. Like, actual beer, not the soy shit. People splurged for this thing. Uh, there is a destroyed stage and some shit, and there is a little car that is still on fire. I am no good with vehicles, so, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna just... I want to give you a little memory plus two roll here if you're if you're so inclined to take it. Absolutely. Okay. Four. Perfect. So after kind of soaking in the air, you remember that you were here last night, at least you think it was last night. <laughs> and you are hit by the vision of you and the two girls getting absolutely bomb out wasted. Uh, there are all kinds of drugs going around this whole little concert. They were trying to do a show for the hippies yep. and the shamans. Try and get it in with the more... Uh, n what's the word? Nature-oriented members of the Shoe Nation. Okay. And one of them got a little bit too drunk and chucked a bottle at Mizga while she was high as shit. And she kind of went dragon again. Oh my god. So it's but. Like what you do remember is you do remember the <laughs> that's instead of being angry, she was just incredibly drunk. So it's, she kind of just flailed around. And at one point, you did eat a tail and get launched into Bumblefuck. Was that why I'm out here? Yeah. Okay. Now I will say that like walking for two and a half hours, I'm gonna say you kind of like if you're walking in a straight line but you don't know where you're going, you kind of sign wave around. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just gonna say like your blind walking in roughly the northeast direction eventually led you here. Well, a, a compass helped me. A compass, yeah, a compass did help you, but even that's not gonna be completely accurate this far out into nowhere. Fair enough. So, the place is cleared out, there are all kinds of tire tracks leading in all kinds of directions. Uh, <laughs> and you do, you are ultimately, I actually just roll perception okay. for this as well. Alright, not to do that. <laughs> you alright? Yeah, absolutely. Underneath the destroyed stage, there actually is somebody there. Uh, I guess I'll... Talk to them? Do they look like they're conscious? They're out cold, but they are breathing and they look like they're pass out drunk. I'm gonna grab him by the ankle and drag them out. You gotta drag him out eventually, he just snaps awake, and this guy, he looks like a horrid, disgusting, hasn't showered in three weeks hippie. That doesn't really do it. The, the fuck? Do, do it. Whoa. Dude, 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 dude. Okay. You know everybody All split right. two last night? What? You know where everybody split to. I don't know, dude. I, I took a, sl it's a sleep nap. I'm going to put my hand on his shoulder. So you're telling me you don't know where the after, uh, after party's at? Ah, uh, shit, dude. I need, to, I need to sell all this shit. And he kind of opens up his coat, and it's just like at least like a hundred sandwich bags full of various items just stapled to the inside of his coat. Ah, uh, uh, shit, dude. I gotta... Fuck, I need to pay rent, dude. Oh, okay. You want some? No, but... But... I might be able to help you if you can help me. Okay. I'm gonna cut him open and hide in his stomach. Okay, I I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... You need to sell those... And we're kind of uh, stranded here, friend. There's no vehicle that can be used. Uh. Yeah. So, uh. Follow me and you might live. And he kind of just like, no, 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 dude, 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 check this. And he kind of just like goes back under the stage and eventually wheels out 
a fucking Dodge Scoot with desert tires. Like I, I, I parked this under here. I didn't trust anybody. Looks like you're our wheels. Uh, it's a one seater. Points my laser at the ceiling, blasts it off. Huh? No, not not the ceiling. Like you're out. It's open air. Oh, okay. I'm like just a, like a fucked up stage that he stuffed his bike under poor. Oh, okay. Then, I, then I'm just gonna fire it in the air, and I'm gonna be like, "What were you saying?" Uh, uh I'll, I'll give you my deep weed. I don't think you're understanding. Fires my other hand into the air with a grappling hand. Uh, and and at this point, the guy's just going to like whip out his knife. He's going to try. He's going to go. He's going to go for like a little shank here. Good luck. Oh, oh. <laughs> dude, a little shank. You were that's not a little shank. I mean, people get lucky trying to do stupid shit. Dude, fourteen so knives is not lucky. <laughs> this man sits at home and practices on a scarecrow, like... Oh, no, his agility is shit. He's just high. Oh, okay. Dude, that's not even lucky. Dude, where's my fucking dice now? I'm not rolling for armor. Okay. So how are you going to take this? I'm just... Going to try and parry it with your hand? Yeah, you know, I can try. What would that even be? Uh, if you want to catch it with your, like, your robo hands, you, that would be unarmed. Oh, a good thing I have ranks in that. Or you can just shoot him with a laser. <laughs> You know what I like how you're thinking, I'll go with that. I'm not gonna make it lethal, I'm just gonna shoot him in the fucking leg. Can I aim? Do I get negative dice for aiming specifically at the knife? Uh, at the knife, you get minus one. Okay, then, uh... Three successes? <clears throat> well, with three successes, you're still going to, like, you're kinda going to miss and kinda sear the side of his shirt. He is still going to like get you right in the right in the gut though. Okay, that's fine. But you have managed to set his clothes on fire. Okay, good. Should I roll armor then? Uh yeah, roll your damage resistance. My, uh, <laughs> my damage resistance. It's twenty two. Oh jeez. Oh wait, sorry, you have to roll nineteen because the knife has a minus three. Five successes. So you take Three damage. That's nothing. Yeah, that's actually just nothing. And him, on the other hand, he is on fire. So he's kind of just going to, like, take his coat and throw it on the ground and just go running into the desert with his pants on fire. Did he just drop his coat? Yes, he threw his coat off thinking that's what was on fire. Well, I've got a lot of drugs now. So... Oh, yeah, you do. You want a picture? <laughs> sure. Oh, you also find a little cred stick stuffed into his pocket. How much is on it? 75 new yen, it's nothing. No, that's nothing. But you got a lot of good shit! Okay. Well. Hmm. <laughs> Did he also leave his comm link? Yeah, it was just tucked into his pocket. Oh, well, uh, hmm. But it's a piece of shit, like, 100 new yen comm link that's worth actually nothing. What the fuck was he doing? Was he doing kamikaze or guts? He was selling it to people. What, but what did, was he doing to make him fucking stab like a god? Everything. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I think it's called Speedball. Okay, then I, I... You know what? I'm just gonna get on the scoot and get out of here. We're, we're going. You gave him the scoot? He ran off into the desert. He's gone. Oh, I, did, I thought you said he ran, like... No, he ran off into the desert with his clothes on fire. Oh, so he did take the scoot? No, no, like, he left the scoot, he ran away from you. Okay, then I'm taking the scoot, with all of his drugs. <laughs> like, I told you you were going to be the money maker? Well, here I am, with lots of drugs and a scoot. Nowhere but up from here, I guess. Uh, you are immediately greeted by the realization that... There are no keys to the scoot. I'm gonna try- Oh, I have a key thing! I have the, the auto-picker! Can... There you go. Yeah. Alright, try to lockpick it. Because it does have, like, a manual ignition. It's not an automatic one. Uh... Currently, he doesn't trust doesn't that lock techno pick bullshit. Give, like, plus, 
two? How much is the What auto? rating is the auto picker? I, actually, let me check. I think it's actually. I think you got a rating six auto picker. I think I did two. Yeah, it's rating six auto. Then add six dice to your uh, luck picking. <laughs> oh yeah, that car starts right the fuck up. Yep, that's just no big deal at all. Easy. And I'm guessing just off you go, continuing to dawdle around the desert. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like... <laughs> uh, roll your tracking to see if you can follow the tire track. Do I even have tracking? Maybe. Oh, uh, let me let me check real quick. Yes, you do, actually. You have five dice in tracking. Dude, holy fuck, I've got something in tracking. That's all that matters to me. You said five? Yeah. Two times. It's better than one. Not bad, so you follow it up, and eventually you do manage to hit the main road. <coughs> nice. But there's no sign, so you're not actually sure which direction you're even going. But there, there should have been, like, it might have looked like they pulled in a certain direction onto the road. Uh, there are some tire, but there are tire marks going all directions. These are people who live all over the fucking place. Can I try and use memory to see if I can identify the tracks of the specific vehicle that those two girls were driving? Uh, go for it, I guess, sure. All right. Yeah. Roll your memory. But you're also going to need to roll something else on top of that. Okay. I see to figure out what the hell it has to be. <laughs> uh, what should I roll before that, then? Memory, just to, like, try to okay. remember what the tires look like. One time! Dude, my I mean, they're tires. Yeah, that, dude, my memory is... Apparently, Tatasso's not much of a thinker. Alzheimer's? Yeah, like ALS Alzheimer's. Uh, and you have nothing to roll to identify shit on cars, so you actually just have no idea. Okay, fair enough. Well, a lot of the cars look like they're going this direction. And off you go. Oh, yep. <laughs> uh, within a, so you're, uh, you're going along for a while. Eventually, there is somebody on the side of the road. They got their thumbs up. They're looking for a ride. But you are I'm in a one-seat scoot. Like, like, what does this person look like? Uh, they're just a shabby-looking motherfucker with, like... He's got, he's got a coat. He's got, like, a little cloak around him. He doesn't appear to have actual, mu like, much in the terms of actual clothing. Well, you said him, so I'm driving. You're driving? Yeah. <laughs> You didn't let me finish, and he has a cute little animal with him. A uh, cute little animal? Keep driving. <laughs> yeah, like, it <laughs> didn't change anything. Aw. Sad. Wait, is it a monkey? He's what is it? It is it is a fox with what looks like an LED scarf. Oh, wait, dude. Holy fucking LED scarf, dude. I'm yes, an LED it. scarf. I'm gonna be like, hey, do you want any drugs? <laughs> And the and the and the and the guy's kind of just going to like blink, and him and he's going to look down at the fox and just nod. <laughs> what do, what do you want? Got some deep weed. Yeah, I've got plenty. How much? Uh, how much does can, can I roll mafia to know how much deep weed? How much deep weed is worth? Yeah, go for it. Dude, I'm gonna try to overcut him. It's 400 new yen for one hit of deep weed, by the way. Well, apparently I'm retarded. You able to remember it's 400 new yen, okay. because it's, that's not rocket science. Uh, oh, okay, then. That, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to charge him 420 new yen a pop. 420 new yen, he's going to, like, think about it. And he's going to think about it some more. And he's just going to... I could... Five successes. And, oh boy. All of a sudden, you are pulled right off your bike onto the ground, and you cannot move. What the fuck? Who's this LED scarf fox having motherfucker? Not in my fucking desert. You're not ripping me off, kid. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm taking his leg. No, you can't move. Oh, at all? At all. You... I'm just going to, like, put it simply, you have a spell of gravity cast on you. I'm going to try and strong-arm my way up. Uh, you cannot, your strength isn't high enough. But with my arms, my mechanical arms, friend! Uh, even with that, your strength balances out to... 
You have a strength of two, and your obvious lower and your obvious arms both have six strength. Because that means the median is four, and he got five successes on gravity. Oh, fuck. So you actually just cannot move. And the fox is just going to nose its way into your pocket and just, like, just get, like, a couple sandwich bags of deep weed. They're just going to start walking. It's like, it's about wear off in a couple of minutes. See ya. I'm not killing. And they just go right back into the desert. I'm about to kill this motherfucker. Can I, can I avert my eyes in his direction? Do I see him walking? Uh, you do see him walking. <clears throat> okay. And you see, I'll see him, like, stuff all the stuff into his, uh, stuff all, stuff all of the drugs into his pocket. Oh. Sorry about that. And, oh, sorry, you were saying something? Or attempting to say something? Me? Yeah. No, I'm just waiting until I get up, and I have a, now have a vengeance to score. To go get your weed back. I wasn't even, like, jipping this guy that bad. Like, if anything, that's the tax for me doing this out in the middle of the desert. Six successes, you also notice that the man morphs into a coyote and goes scampering off with the fox into the wastes. I'm gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> You're gonna go hunt down this fox? Yeah, dude. This varmint ain't getting away from me. <laughs> I'm getting back my weed. Yeah, fuck this guy. Ah, nah, I don't care enough. My vengeance is already bubbled away. Like, I was upset about it for a second, but then I realized that wasn't even my weed to begin with. Hey, at least the fox was cute. Yeah. This fucking <laughs> LED scarf looking... Now I've got a, little, like, a weird amount of scorn for that thing. I'm like, hmm... I'm gonna wake up with cold sweats in the middle of the night because of that fucking fox's little LED scarf. Like those piercing eyes just looking at you while he just, while he just steals the sandwich bags out of your coat? No, I'm just more upset that there's a fox wearing a fucking LED scarf. <laughs> like, like, it's like, what kind of asshole does that? Who does that? Who puts an LED scarf on their fox? Who owns a fox? <laughs> Like, that's the type of shit that's going through my head. Not, not like, it's stealing from me, because I'm over that already. I'm just... Go rescue the fox. Tend it to PETA. Dude, I, I'm take out that fox. How dare it? The audacity. The audacity of, of this fox. Yeah, and its fucking owner. <laughs> well, okay. So, but yeah, he did run off. Uh, so whatever you got, just deduct, like, ten hits of deep weed. I mean, I'll just, I haven't put anything down yet because I'm just going to wait till the session's over. All right. It, so just do, just like keep in mind that it's minus 10. Okay. As the spell starts to dissipate, the, uh, the fox actually does do a U turn and come back to you. The fox? Yeah, the fox does a U turn after a while and returns to you. Why? Uh, it's, it's got this, like, it's got a dirty canteen in its mouth. And it's going to, like, and just, uh, cough it onto the ground. It's going to ring pretty loud once it hits. Okay. And it's going to kind of just, like, push it towards you with its nose while you, while you're, the feeling starts to return to your body. You know what? I, I no longer have resentment towards this thing. It just brought me water. You know what? I'm gonna sniff what's in the canteen first, just to be safe. Uh, it smells, the water smells a bit rusty. But you can t that's really all you got. What the fuck ever, I'm gonna drink it anyway. Uh, it tastes fucking terrible. Metallic, yeah. Yeah. Probably doesn't taste good, but we're in the middle of the desert, you take what you can get. Mm. Uh, but, and while you're chugging, it kind of, uh, starts going down your cheeks a bit, and it's got this, like, brown look to it, and the fox is going to, like, kind of poke at your no- like, poke at your ankle a bit. Okay. And it's going to- it's going to, like, move its head in such a way to motion the can down. Okay, I'll motion the can down. Uh, da, 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 da. what is it? And through good old fashioned magical bullshit, it actually just pulls the rust right out of the water, and it's crystal clear, and it kind of just tosses the scraps aside. Oh, good! Drinks actual water. The power to clean water in the desert is incredibly useful. Ooh. Oh. And the fox and the fox is kind of just going to sit down and eye you. Like, it's giving you a look of, like, well, what's your plan, bucko? Is it coming with me? 
Well, I mean, it might. It's up to you. It's kind of just hanging out at this point. It's still got that really stupid LED scarf on it. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk over to the, the scoot, and I'm gonna sit down. And then I'm gonna look at the fox, and then I'm gonna motion it with my head for it to come on. <laughs> the fox is going to ride with you? Yeah, it's gonna be on, like, that part where you're supposed to rest your feet. Like, right in front of you? Yeah, it's just hanging out there. I'm sitting a little, like, man spreading on a fucking scoot. <laughs> Alright. Going through the desert. It's gonna hop right on, I guess, and fucking go. Well, here's... Dude, this is a... You know what? I didn't plan for this. I thought it was... I, I expected you to make it chew after the water, but I guess you've got a friend now. No, yeah, this is this is my life, dude. How is I gonna turn away this little fuck in his LED scarf? <laughs> like, I can't even, like... Just picturing an LED scarf on a small animal in my head. It's like the silliest yeah, thing. The party has two pets now. Dude, what the fuck? One of which can actually cast magic. Wait, do we have two? Oh, well, technically, I have two pets. Well, Azoth actually got a pet as well during his adventure. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, he got a cat. Well, I have two pets if you count Pup. <laughs> but nice. we don't really know what's going on with him right now. An absolute shame. So you're going to, like, uh... Three pets? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, uh, what else? <clears throat> oh, right, uh, you want to roll perception to kind of identify more about this fox? Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> what is it? Fucking 90s? Yes, it's uh, 99, yeah. Right. Yeah! Two successes? I mean, it's right at your feet while you're driving, so it's not too hard. Uh, it's got the scarf that's tied around its neck. You can tell that there's some shenanigans and shit sewn into that thing, but you can't tell much. Shenanigans? Well, like, there's... You can tell that there's some electronic stuff sewn into the, uh... Oh, okay. The scarf outside of the LEDs. Alright. Are you able to tell that the LEDs are actually showing little things, like... It's blinking on things like skulls, the moon, the sun. What? Yeah. It's, it's like, transitioning between things? It's transitioning between several different images. Okay. And it's also got, like, it's got a little, like, you know those dumb, like, sweaters people put on their dogs? Oh, it's got a dumb little sweater? It's got a dumb little sweater. You know what? Like, does the dumb little sweater have anything on it? Like, or is it just, like, a, a monocolored sweater? Uh, just a little sweater. You can see... I mean, you, you're able to tell that there's some, like, fire retardant stuff in it. But but I'm Probably. mainly just asking, is it a single collar? Or... Uh, yeah. Okay. It just goes, like, halfway down its body. Okay, like, it's fine as long as it doesn't have some weird fucking shitty, like, design on it. Like, I, I feel like it, it looks a lot better that way. You know what, I'm it's gonna just... just stop right here, because I don't want to talk about a little sweater on a little box. <laughs> and, uh, tucked in, like, tucked into the scarf is a little deck of cards. Okay. I guess <laughs> I'm going to... Talk to a fox. That cannot speak back. Uh, what do you want to be called, little guy? And it's kind of just going to, it's kind of just going to look up to it, look up at you. Like, you're able to pretty easily tell that it does understand English. Yeah, I figured as much. <clears throat> it but it's not quite certain of, it can't respond, is the issue. I'm going to hand it. My comm link, or no, <laughs> no that, that shitty guy's comm link. And I'm, I'm gonna you're like, going to throw it the Sony. Uh, what was it? The Sony Angel. Yeah, and I'm going to be like, if it can, if it can understand English, it can probably knows how to read it too. Mm. So I'm going to get it to just like type in what it wants to be called. <laughs> All right. So it's going to, it's going to take it. And it's just like, mind you, you're still driving the, you're still driving the fucking Dodge Scoot around the desert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the second you try to drop it, it kind of, it kind of just bumps off its nose and tumbles down the road. And it kind of just looks back and looks up at you and whimpers. Uh, uh, don't, don't worry, that's not mine. I'm gonna park my Dodge Scoot, <laughs> and I'm gonna just reach down my actual comlink and be like, all right, second time's the charm. All right. 
And it's going, it's going to just, you're going to, it's going to lay it down, it's going to, like, sniff at it and start, like, slapping its paw against it. Okay. And then you just get that. The fox? That's not a very good name. If, if everybody in your family was called Fox, like, that would be hard to discern you guys. So, like, pick your favorite object, I guess. That'll do. And it kind of, it kind of just yaps. And and puts the calm link in your hands and hold on, let me let me have some fun with this. Uh, oh God! And it's going to kind of arch its head around and start biting at the deck of cards, and eventually one's going to pop out. Oh God! It's going to spit it on the ground, and it is a tarot card, and on it is the chariot. You're, you want to be called Chariot? And it kind and it kind of just yaps. And it, like it, it just picked a card at random. That's what you get. Uh, okay. Chariot Ch looks left, looks right. That'll do. You want me to shuffle your cards for you because you don't have hands. I mean, it kind it kind of also knows is the number on the card, which is a seven. So you've got seven and you've got cherry, and it's up to you. <laughs> uh, uh, they both kind of suck. Yeah, they both kind of suck. <laughs> um, and, it, and it can, like, see the look on your face, and it's kind of just going to, like, uh, shake itself, and the cards are going to spill all over the ground. I guess I'm going to look through the cards and find something that, that seems nice. Let's see, there is, uh... I mean, this is the Shadowrun version of the... Like, there's the Shadowrun version of this deck, but I'm working with an actual one because I have a real tarot deck because I'm a fucking nerd. Okay. Let's see, the first one you look at is the Ten of Swords, which is kind of neat, I guess. Naming it Sword seems a little on the nose. Yeah. Uh, the Seven of Pentacles, or the Seven of Coins. Uh, I can name it Coin. Coin's okay. Coin? Yeah, Coin's alright. Yeah, you just want to call it coin? Yeah. Alright, your new pet fox coin. Yeah. <laughs> Rad, and I'm going to offer it a fist. As to fist bump with a fox. It's just going to headbutt your hand. Not no. <laughs> what? Sorry, what did you say? Let me edit the sheet to say coin real quick. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, Discord was fucking up for a second. Huh. <coughs> oh, so yeah, I guess its name is Coin now. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. I guess we're moving on. R Radical. Well, first I'll help this box pick up its fucking cards. Yeah, because it's it's having like visible trouble. Like it can do it, but it's going to take a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just I'll just pick them up. Make sure there's no sand on them. Put them back in their card. Does, like, is it in a little baggie, or is it in like it's it's in like it's in like a little cardboard thing that it just has tucked in between its neck and the scarf? Okay, all right. I imagine okay, there's gonna... a, an actual pocket in that scarf. Uh, there are little pockets on the sweater. All right, I put it in its little pocket. All right. And it's kind of just going to hop back onto the scoot, and I'm guessing you're just going to go back on an adventure. Yeah. On this fucking shit boy adventure. Oh, Iggy and would be a good name. Oh, uh, Iggy is a good name. Oh, <laughs> uh, but I don't want to fucking on the nose name him Iggy, though. Yeah, sadly. Yeah, but man, do I love Iggy. Huh. All right, as you're driving out and around, you do actually start hearing some police sirens in the distance, but you can't quite tell which direction it's coming from, but you know it's getting closer. Okay. And after a while, a couple of cars with chew plates kind of pass you on the road. And they just keep on going. Although one of them does kind of uh, flip their lights on and do a U-turn down kind of inches behind you. Okay. And the guy- and it's two cops kind of come out. Two cops? And they are- <laughs> they don't look great. They don't look. They've great. got some scraggly shit. They've like their equipment looks kind of shitty. Okay. And, uh, you, and you can tell that there's like 
the windows are very clear and visible, presumably to just... They they don't want to tint the windows uh, because it would make them more hot. Yeah, You can see, like, a shotgun plain as day sitting in the passenger seat of the car. Are, are they coming towards me? Yeah, they're coming towards you and they'll be like, uh... And they, and they kind of start, like, motioning at you and talking to you in a language you don't quite understand. Uh... I'm gonna start, start speaking Italian. And they kind of, like, pause and look at each other. And then they look back at you. I'm gonna shrug. Uh, uh sir, do you speak English? Yeah. Oh, yeah! Okay, alright. So you're not from around here, then? Um, I'm actually lost. Oh. If Where the fuck are you going? I don't know. I wound up in the middle of the desert due to, uh, some asshole friends. Asshole f And they kind of look at each other, and they look at you like, uh... I, you know, whenever... You happen to know anything about a party? No, nah, I... Okay. Um, here's the thing. I was invited to that party, but because I, I didn't want to go, my friends drug me out here and abandoned me in the desert. So... Oh, wow. Uh... Well, I guess lucky you, because half of those people are hospitalized or dead, because apparently there was a Dracomorph among them. Oh! Then I guess I lucked out! Yeah, I, I guess so. I mean, we still need to, like, drug test you to make sure you're, like, fit to be interrogated. I mean, I say interrogate, but we're just going to, like, uh, interview you at the station, if that's alright. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, do you mind? Uh, you, mind if we, you mind if we just check your car, check your pockets? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, as he goes to check... Wait, wait. Hmm, this is an issue. You've got, you've got the drug coat tucked right under your arm. Oh, yeah, that's... Can I try and make it seem as though my arm goes on the fritz and starts burning the coat? Uh, that would be a fucking con roll if I've ever heard one. Wait, say that again? I mean, that would be a con roll if I've ever heard one. To make your arm, like, spasm and freak the fuck out. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, Discord is fucking up. Can you say that again? Uh, you could try, you could try doing con. Alright. I will con the fuck out of these. Uh, first, I'm gonna use- These drugs aren't mine. The pheromones. Alright, go for it. So, 12 Get all your bo- stack in all those bonuses. Yeah, man. dude. Oh, and I have my, like, pretty boy face. First impression. So many dice. That's, like, plus four. Yeah, so 16d6. Alright. <laughs> dude, yeah, I'm about that... to edge for this. Yeah, dude. Like, what the fuck? Dude, my life's a joke. <laughs> yeah, roll your 14 dice. 14d6? Fucking ridiculous. Oh, there we there go. There you go. Okay. Nine successes. So what are you trying to tell the cops here? Uh, no, I was going to be like, one second, let me just situate myself. And as I'm about to, like, remove that thing from under my arm, I'm going to make my arm start shaking. <laughs> and then it just lights on fire. Fl okay, lighting on fire can't be done, but you can make it, like, spasm the fuck out. No, like, my laser dog, all I have to do is, like, put it on a very low setting and make it start a just fire. Just make it glow red? Yeah, yeah, just make it, like, it, it can set this thing ablaze. It can cause a fire. It's just, I would have to make it, like, ever so slightly shoot a beam. Uh, I'm going to say you can heat up the coil to make the, to make the whole thing kind of glow red hot. Okay, that'll do that. Like, actually... All right. So the thing kind of just starts heating up and steaming. The cops both kind of back up and put uh, and put their hands on their uh, service arms. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. This is it's just not a good arm. I was gypped at the dealer. W one second, it'll fit it. Just give it a second. And the cops are kind of just like slowly backing up, asking you to get on the ground. Or right, does it burn the shirt? Uh, the coat is. I mean, the coat's like it's burning pretty bad. Yeah, but it's not on fire. All right, I'm gonna get on the ground. It's, tell me whenever the, the shirt starts taking uh, fire. When, do, when when does it start actually catching? 
issue is it's a leather coat. It's not going to catch. Oh fire. fuck! It smells like shit. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna. But the thing is, all the sandwich bags inside, full of drugs, are starting to burn. All right. I'm gonna chuck the shirt away. Uh, uh, the guy's gonna whistle and kind of motion at him to motion at the other cop to go and pick up the coat. All right. I didn't want to come to this. I'm slaughtering two cops. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well. Just lie. You know I could, but they're about to find a whole bunch of drugs. A whole bunch of drugs. You have you do have a friend that can cover your ass. Do I? Yeah, the fox. Oh yeah, the one that doesn't speak English. No, no, it can't talk to you in English, but I can understand English. Yeah, but wh why would a cop be like, I'm gonna totally believe what this fox that was traveling with him says? No, 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 I mean, you tell the fox to do a thing. You uh, know it does magic. Oh! Fox, can you do something to get rid of the drugs? And, like, the okay, I'm just going, if this thing has, like, a batshit hearing bonus, by the way. Okay. Because animal ears. What? That makes it have bad hearing? No, like, bullshit, like, in Oh, hearing. okay. It's really good hearing. Okay, good. I was gonna be like, what the fuck? I accidentally gave the cops no skills. Whoops. <laughs> uh, they're good. They're really good at their job. I mean, what the fuck do you expect from backwater fucking cops, dude? Pretty much, yeah. So the fox pretty much immediately, like, it does, it understands what you're saying, gets your tone of voice, it kind of just, like, sits there for a moment. And it's thinking... Uh... <laughs> oh, this is going to be Coin, fun. Coin, please. This is going to be really fucking fun, dude. Well, you ready? Yes. All of a sudden, the cops cut. Wait, wait, is that a glitch? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, lad, thank God. The cops kind of just going to like perk his head up, stumble, and just face plant into the sand. What? And he's just babbling incoherently. What about the other one? The other one's kind of just like looks over, like, and he kind of just yells and goes over to check on his friend, starts shaking him. Is everything all right over there, officer? He's fucking drunk. What? Eh? Uh? Okay. Is my arm cooling down now? I'm, I'm, I'm done burning yeah. the thing. Yeah, yeah, it cooled off. You're, you're free to do whatever. He's, he's checking on his friend. Oh, shit. Okay, I can hear you now. All right. So yeah, he's fucking drunk. He's kind of just like kicking his friend. It's like, were you drinking? He's just yelling, were you drinking in the backseat of the car again, you lying dumbass? Or, and oh. other beautiful things. Ooh. Uh. What's up? No, this is me in character. Like, what do I do in this situation? Like, uh, it's a, he's, he's busy, am I right? Yeah, he's, like, trying to shake his friend if I keep forgetting to roll drain for the fox, but it's irrelevant anyways. Do, do you need me to, uh, help you over there? Can I get off the ground? Uh... Yeah, fuck it, just get out. Get out? Whatever shit happens, I just... I... Look. If I bring you in with this dumbass, he gets fired. Just, just go. Get out. Oh, okay. You, you uh, can be a fucking junkie for all I care. Whatever. You want to like pick up the coat and just throw it at your feet? Just like, just get the fuck out. What's the state of the drugs? Uh, some of it is burnt, but for the most part, it's actually just fine. Okay, then I'll, I'll get rid of whatever was burnt. Uh, well, while I'm like, I would say a mile down the road. All right. Okay, so what am I down to now? Uh, you didn't ask the cops for directions. Oh, fuck. Actually, which way were they coming from? Or heading towards? Uh, they were going the opposite direction as you. Fuck! Well, looks like I'm turning around! 
All right, <laughs> you're just gonna keep. You're just gonna keep going. Yeah, keep trucking. I guess. Fucking Jesus Christ. After all, you do find a good old bumblefuck gas station. Mind you, this is like long after you pass the cops who were at this point just fighting each other in the sand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go in and ask for directions. And it's going, and the guy's gonna look up to you, and he's gonna start just like, he's got, he's got the little headband thing going. He has a big fucking pipe, and he's puffing something. And he's like, "Where are you going, friend?" Uh, where, can I? What was the name of the place I was staying in before? Uh, oh. it was just a, you never got the name of the school. It's just a technomancer boarding school. I never got the name of in the town. I was oh, the town. In. Yeah. Oh, the city. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant the school. No, no Cheyenne. No. So Cheyenne. Okay, which way is Cheyenne? Kind of just going to point other is like go that way. There's a train, and the this will take you to a town. You can get a train. Is that guy smoking deep weed? Perhaps. <laughs> Maybe you don't know. I mean, I'm He's pretty sure I can more. smell it. I mean, you don't know what deep weed smells like. You're uh, you're not a magic guy. Oh, you can't smell it unless you're a magic man. Well, you. I mean, it's more common around magic people. Uh, I mean, I feel like, I like it's not really it. the kind of thing. You, like mafiosos don't seem like they'll be they'll be hanging around mages too much. Well, this guy's not going to call the cops on me, so I'm just going to pop the question. I'm going to be like, are you uh, looking for anything, friend? Hmm. Hmm. Do you have any jazz? Yeah. Do you actually? Yeah. How much? Uh, I think it was... Go up to the screenshot. Just repost the screenshot, I guess. Repost it. Jazz. jazz, just toss out like three of those. Okay. That's 12, it's like, hmm, give me uh, just one. Okay, I'll give him one. This job sucks, I need to make it more fun. Fair enough. Sucks being a wage slave, friend. Oh, yeah. And then there's my deadbeat fucking son playing in the desert. What? He's some lucky fuck happened to be a mage, or shaman, or whatever. Wanders off dressed as a coyote. Oh, I... Uh... I think I got robbed by him earlier, actually. Oh, you're fucking kidding. <sighs> Don't worry, when he gets home, I'll beat him with my cane. Oh, good. Tell him, uh, he's gonna have a lot of deep weed on him, so, uh... Oh, good. The house needs more. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> I have more to sell if you want more, I mean... Uh, you make it sound like he stole a good bit, so I won't worry about it. Okay. You want to recompensate me, friend? I mean, I didn't rob you. Uh... <laughs> but it's part of your family. Own up for your shitty kid. Uh... And he's just going to, like, kind of pull out a cred stick and jam it into yours and just give you, like, uh... 700 new yen. But I'll let you have the jazz. You can just keep it. Good. Thank you. I'll give him another pill for free. You know what? Fuck it. Good shit. He's gonna puck. He's gonna just like take that right in and just lean back in his shitty gas station chair. Yeah, dude. Wage being a wage slave sucks, dick. I, I completely feel for this man. He cannot even comprehend what you're saying anymore. Okay, good. Well, I'm out of here. Well, all right. I, at least I got some money. Oh, mind you, the God Dodge Scoot also needs gas. Oh yeah, I'll get some gas. He doesn't care. It's it's yours. He's gone. Yeah, I figure. Just gonna pump my fucking gas, then. Just fill it up? Yeah. Alright, you can continue off the road. Eventually you do find this little bumblefuck town. It's got its own little train station. I mean, you can't bring the Dodge Scoot on the train. I don't want to bring the Dodge Scoot on the train. I want to ditch this thing as fast as possible. <laughs> and your little fox friend kind of sits by it and kind of yaps at you. Uh... Sits. It kind of, and then it looks over at the train and looks like he kind of just shakes its head no. Oh, god damn it. Well, here's if I'm keeping my little gay-ass fox friend. I guess I'm sticking to the Dodge Scoot. Uh, no, it kind of yaps again. It kind of just, like, t it kind of just starts shaking its head like you're not tr tr understanding what it's saying. I'm going to lower the pad again. This is how I communicate with something that can't speak. All right. L l let me just type like a retard and see yeah. if I can get point across. Oh, okay. All right. I can I can appreciate that. C Hello, can I have one jazz, please? Yes, screws. 
<laughs> Nicole go Trien. Then we won't go on the train. We'll go on the dark scoot. <laughs> what, you want us to just walk? I'm Benissi. <laughs> <laughs> You're Benissi. Now, what would a little fox boy have to do at this time of day, this time of hour, this time of year? <laughs> and then they kind of just starts, like, kind of... I mean, it can't really laugh, so it does the dog thing where it kind of starts rolling around on the ground with its mouth open. Oh, okay, I mean... Alright, well, fairly well, little pal. And it's going to just yoink the calmly edge to be like... And just run into the train station? Oh! I guess I'm running into the train station with it. I mean, it's, it's just waiting for you to get tickets at this point. Oh, okay, then I... Yeah. Grabbing tickets? Nico, go train, no, you go, I'm Benitzi, fuck it. <laughs> I love this. Nico, go, good tree, Anne. <laughs> Alright. I just type like I'm retarded. So, me at 3 a.m. I, I can dig this. Like, alright, I guess I somehow convinced this fox that was priorly busy, that is no longer busy, to come on a shit bro adventure with me. It, it, did, it did actually have a semi-decent reason, but it doesn't give a shit. Yeah, okay. I just wanted the excuse to leave, it just doesn't like treats. Well, apparently I want it over, so... Me five minutes ago. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, you're gonna hop a train to good old Cheyenne, it's gonna cost you... I mean, it's gonna cost you extra because you're bringing something with you. Yeah. So it's gonna cost you 40 new yen for the train ticket. What that? So I'll just use the cred stick I fucking got off that hippie. Alright, you're just gonna throw them the whole cred stick? Yeah. Uh, Alright, it's gonna be like, uh, uh, sir, this is to... <clears throat> Never... Thank you very much for buying our ticket. Yep. And off you go on the train back to Cheyenne to adventure. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you have a you have a signal again. You can call people. Eh? You can call people again at this point. I know. No, I'm just saying. Eh? Like this is probably this is the only downtime I've had to myself in I don't know how long. <laughs> like in actually, I don't know how. It's been years. And now you have friends. Yeah, and, and now I'm just on a shit bro adventure by myself. It's relaxing. A shit bro adventure by yourself originally, then you got robbed? Yeah. You, you robbed someone, then you got robbed, and then you just sold someone drugs. Yeah, and now I have like a shitty dog with me. Or a shitty fox. There you go. Yeah. I mean, foxes are just shit dogs. Yeah. Um, I've had a pet fox before, but I don't, I'll talk about that later. Um. <sighs> Basically, yeah, I'm just enjoying the what little time I have to myself away from everyone else. <laughs> like, as much as I love Countdown and Screws or whatever, like... They are very exhausting. Like, the entire part, like, we're... It's non-stop bullshit all the time. So just having to deal with, like, mediocre everyday troubles, like being robbed and, and your car being a shitty Dodge Scoot... <laughs> This is okay, you know what? I'm on a train by myself, heading I don't know where. It's heading for Cheyenne, right? Yeah, it's heading for Cheyenne. Oh, then, yeah, dude, I don't gotta call anybody, I'm just enjoying myself. Uh, I guess that's the end of that, and this is our, like, chapter 5, so you're getting your 10 karma for the clear. Oh, that's it? I mean, it was this plus the prior session. Okay, alright. Alright, I mean... I expected it to be longer, but I mean... I mean, the variable length and all that, like, Azoth's thing was like 20 minutes. Okay. Which was 50. Alright. Countdowns was an hour and a half. <laughs> so in all in all, that actually does tally up to about a five-hour session. Okay, I mean, like... I'm fine with this. Speak so yeah, let's see. You get what I'm going to give you 
one for your weed robbery. <laughs> My weed robbery. And another one, and another extra one for dealing with the police. Oh, if I really deserved that one, I just burned some leather and fucked up some drugs, and then had to cop out to a little block. <laughs> fucking whatever works. D d ten karma, chapter five. Adventures in the desert. Dude, where where was my shitty Indian man? Oh, there was the shitty Indian man. <laughs> yeah, he robbed you. Oh fuck. Ugh. I shouldn't have chipped him, damn it! I could have been hanging out with the him. The plan was you were going to hang out. The plan was you were going to hang out with him. Uh, as uh, you were at the two and a half hour session we did two weeks ago. Shitty hippie robbery. Uh, and. <laughs> Drunk fucking cops. He just cast Intoxicate on a bunch of cops. So now you have, like, an intoxicated dog as your friend. The dog's intoxicated? Or the fox is intoxicated? No, the fox casted Intoxicate. Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, uh, you said intoxicated like it was fucked up itself, but I was like, now the sweater and nah. scarf makes sense. Like, just, it's a fox that's crunk 24-7. Also, go look at the message I sent you earlier. You're talking about, like, 3 a.m. fucking fucking up spelling. Look at that. Where you goo got? Either way, whatever works. You now have your fox friend that does the magic. And he didn't even get to the, well, I mean, shit wasn't terrible, so he didn't actually get to do the really cool shit that he can do. Uh, I mean, that's fine. I'll find out about it later. I'm not too concerned at this time. I still can't get over, like, the retarded amounts of damage this animal is capable of. Well, uh, now I've got a cool little dog, Fox. You ever just do 20p with negative 5 AP? What the fuck? Exactly. This thing's a living nuke. <laughs> That wasn't even intentional. Its magic is just retardedly high. Man. Because but... all it has is magic. Ooh. Huh. I'm... I don't even know what to think, like... But the question is, how many points... I... Oh, yeah, it has a shitload of points in that skill. It's yeah, like twice as good as my laser. <laughs> and my laser's Which... already really good. But the thing is, it's a super close range thing. Oh, okay. It's like, yeah. I mean, I guess I, mean, I, guess I could just say to explain. I no, 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 I want it to be, like, something... Oh, you that... want to be surprised when it finally does its old, like, its secret jutsu? Yeah. And fucking obliterates, like, seven people? I want it to be, like, super fucking hype. Like, I, w I want to be just as hyped as Austin whenever it happens. Like, I know it exists now, but, I, like, I don't know what it does. You know that this thing is a nuke on legs. Yeah, like, but... I'm gonna wait until, like, it actually happens. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. I think this thing has all kinds of wacky magic powers, which I thought was fun. <laughs> Austin was mentioning how we're all, like going under different paths than we started with. Like, he's trying to become a Decker. Yeah. I'm which a is fucking cool. street samurai now. You're a charismatic street samurai. Yeah, it's weird. With a pet magic dog. Fox. Well, I'm gonna keep calling it a dog. I keep accidentally doing that, too. Yeah, you can just call it a dog and have people correct you all the time. It's pretty much a fucking I... dog. If you're willing to throw, like, a little sweater on something, it might as well just be a little dog. Yeah. I, I do kind of like how it just threw the cards on the ground and had you pick. That was fun. I mean, it makes sense. Like, it probably doesn't give a fuck about actually having a name. Exactly. It's mainly convenience for me. Coin is a nice name. It's better than... Chariot. Or Seven. Yeah, or Seven. <laughs> Coin is okay. I can live with that. <laughs> This is a very strong animal. Extremely powerful animal. So, I mean, hey, you now have... 
You now have a lot more mages than people generally would. Good. And I'm glad Scrooge yeah, has you, a tutor. You've got Carver. Makoto is technically awakened because Technomancers are mages of a different breed. Yeah. And now you have this dog and Azoth. And I... And Pup, but Pup is in a weird limbo right now. Of, what, like, of do I want him dead or alive? Yeah, and it's fine, whatever you do with him. He feels like he only comes in as a side character. Yeah, I didn't have a lot of plot planned for him. It, it's okay. I won't be upset if he dies or lives, but I mean... I mean, Detasso will feel kind of bad. I mean, he was the guy that saved his life. Yeah. And, and st st steered him down a better direction with, with Crazy Bob. Yeah, and he showed up with a bumper sticking out of his head. Happy to see you. Yep. That's fine. Foxes are dogs, to be fair, actually. Everyone in the is with him. Oh! Nice. G What's GHA? The other Shadowrun game that's being ran. Is that like... What does that stand for? I don't fucking know. I'm not a member. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> good. Uh, we're all fucking retarded here. <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go, everyone. Haha, <laughs> everyone's awakened. <laughs> yeah, uh... yeah, buddy. I, I, I've given you guys way too many mages. So I'm probably going to lean back on that in the future. I don't know, dog. I already have a heavy laser and I'm ready to kill. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I, I use this thing whenever... That's it. Whenever. <laughs> Every excuse I can! Oh, yeah. We're highly specialized mage. Yeah, fair enough. And then there's just the tarot mage fox. Then you have your technomancer. Then you have your mystic adept. Hmm. Well, this versus two mundane people. Oh wait, no, there's also the guitarist and the dragon. Uh, Holy yeah. shit, Deli was right, I do have way too many awakened characters. Well, I, I feel like he's the last person that, to be saying that because he nearly died a couple sessions ago. S from an enemy mage? Yeah, please give us more, thank you. Fair enough. Yeah, like, he nearly fucking died because of a blood mage. I th yeah, I think he's good. I think he's on until we understand the mage hate boner. Yeah, like... I should I, probably I, cut this recording. Oh, yeah, absolutely.